Watch full of diamonds, yeah. Chart climbing, yeah. For a car driving, yeah. Perfect timing, yeah. Diamond shining, yeah. Stars aligning, yeah. It's perfect timing, yeah. What's going on everyone? Seal Suede here from Diabetic Aesthetics, currently at the gym. And it's actually 1.30 p.m. right now and I haven't had a single thing to eat, so I'm training fasted. I haven't done that in a very long time. And you guys know how I usually don't train fasted, even though I'm a big follower and big believer of intermittent fasting, and I practice intermittent fasting myself pretty much daily. I don't usually train fasted, just because I don't usually get the best lifts in. However, I'm gonna give it a try, and what I'm doing is actually a whole one week experiment with training while I'm fasted in the morning. So I'm gonna give that a try every single day. Whether I have good or bad workouts, just give it a full seven days, see how it works out. But anyways, that's gonna be like a future video. Hopefully within next week, it'll be put together, created and all that. But anyways, I'm hitting a chest and arms workout right now. Like I said, haven't had a single thing to eat and I'm feeling really good. Really good, woke up at around like 9, 10 o'clock. So I've been fasting for like three, four hours right now. But yeah, feeling good. And I'll take you through this workout and also talk to you all about working out fasted. Pretty much like the pros, the cons, what you can expect, um, how it may work for you, it may not work for you. Just pretty much all the general status quo of all that. But anyways, working out fasted, chest and arms workout. We're gonna do this, let's go. What's going on everyone? So doing a video voiceover sitting outside of the Star of the Bucks and gonna be doing this, showing you guys my entire workout routine, my first chest and arms workout of the week, just so you guys get you know an entire workout to see so you can write that down. And also gonna be talking about a very important topic, something that you guys can learn a lot from and that's gonna be the topic of fasted training. Pretty much everything that you need to know that's relevant to training fasted and most specifically weight training fasted because I've had a lot of people ask me questions about that lately we've been doing a lot of videos on you know intermittent fasting you guys know that I practice that and it's something that's been really really helping me out but training fasted as you guys saw in the beginning of the clip is something that I don't usually do when it comes to weightlifting but uh, I'm gonna show you guys or I'm gonna tell you guys exactly what I think about the pros and cons when it comes to training fasted and also my personal experiences and my personal opinions when it comes to weight training fasted and just know guys that this is all personal preference personal experience you know while some of this may be true whatever scientifically studied um, all of this is just my opinion especially it all comes down to personal preference guys when it comes to weight training or just in general training fasted so just know that okay but anyways let's go ahead and start with the pros so I'm gonna keep this short and sweet guys no more than like four minutes hopefully I always say that ends up being like six or seven but um, number one is increased energy so I went ahead and wrote all these down so I don't forget to mention any of these but uh, I'm most productive in the morning as I've stated in my previous videos you know I'm more alert and I find myself less sluggish uh, throughout my workout especially when I'm fasted and have no food in my system again based on personal experience and then the second pro is less hungry so when I'm training uh, it's kind of something to do you know you don't just wake up and you don't have much to do you're thinking about food and breakfast and all that so food isn't on my mind and it somewhat like suppresses my appetite and kind of helps me throughout my fast uh, however, keep in mind too that you may feel a sudden like quick hunger or uh, one to two hours post-workout always really, really hits me hard. So that's just something uh, that I'll explain about when I'm talking about the cons. Now number three is increased fat burn. Now there's been tons of studies on this and it is a little bit, I think I'm pretty positive that this is proven that uh, your body will burn a little bit more fat or it'll burn a little bit more calories when you're training fasted just because your body is at more of an empty state of glycogen storage when you're fasted, obviously due to fasted throughout the entire night, having no food in your system. However, you guys have to realize that I personally think that this is so minuscule. Your weight loss should not be determined on whether you're, you're training fasted or not. That is all based on whether or not you're in a caloric deficit. And yeah, it's all just based on your caloric intake. So I think it's just very minuscule. It doesn't have like a huge, huge degree on whether it burns that much calories or not. But uh, number four is a more productive morning. So it feels good to just wake up, you know, get your workout out of the way and you pretty much have your entire day in your hands. 
and you don't have to think about when you're gonna get your weight training routine in. So that's always a plus side of things. But anyways, let's go ahead and move on to the cons. Those are just some quick pros that I found when it comes to training fasted. Now, number one is it's not sustainable. You might be somebody who wakes up very early to go to work and pretty much you don't wanna be waking up even earlier to get your weight training session in. If you're going to work at seven o'clock, you gotta be there by seven, 7.30. You don't be waking up at five o'clock in the morning, especially when you're, if you're sleeping at like 11 or midnight like most people, so you're not gonna be getting enough sleep. So it all really just depends on your work schedule and in general, your lifestyle, right? So you gotta see what works for you. And number two, now this is my biggest struggle, my biggest con that I personally found when it comes to training fasted, and that is dehydration. Upon waking up, you clearly don't have much fluids in your system due to sleeping all night, and obviously you're not drinking any water. So it's tough to just like optimally get in a ton of water before your workout and be hydrated for your workout. So I find myself always so dehydrated. It's hard for me to just chug a ton of water and keep chugging water throughout my workout because it just like kind of leaves me uncomfortable. So this is my biggest problem when it comes to training fasted. Now number three is progress can be slow guys. So everyone's got a hectic schedule, right? And especially if you're not sleeping enough, Hitting a workout first thing in the morning, it's gonna be a little bit tough to push progression, especially on heavy lifts, so keep that in mind. And now four, my last con, is experiencing a weak pump. This is also something that really, really bothers me. You're not gonna get the best pump in due to having no carbs or any macronutrients, um, for a matter of fact, uh, because you're training fasted, obviously. So, you know, you're not gonna have the best optimal most efficient uh, effective overall like pump and like increased vascularity you're not going to really experience that training facet which really sucks because that's the best part when it comes to weight training the greatest feeling you can get in a gym or the most satisfying feeling you can get in the gym is the pump it feels fantastic so you know that's something i hate come on who doesn't like a good pump that's why we lift man for the pump but anyways, that's kind of the pros and cons to it. Now, when it comes to my personal experience uh, with training fasted in general, I find myself way too dehydrated, guys. That's something that I really, really hate. No matter how much water I chug, it just you know leaves me feeling uncomfortable throughout my workout, and I'm just like not hydrated enough. And my second thing is I usually have too much to catch up on in the morning, you know, with creating videos, editing videos, uploading videos every other day, you know, three or four videos a week, um, getting back to client emails, getting back to a lot of different emails and just like follow-ups and just my comments, stuff like that. I, I always have hectic mornings, so I need to prioritize all my stuff before my weightlifting routine. I'd rather get that in later in the day. And also three is I don't like rushing to the gym in the morning. I like taking my time with my workouts and I like feeling when I'm most ready. And then number four is I find myself having better workouts after I've had a meal in post fast. And I feel like I train better even when I'm more tired later in the day. It's kind of weird. Uh, I kind of just like, I like running on that grind, you know, on low energy. So that's just me, like I said, personal preference. And lastly, it's just not practical for me, guys. And this kind of leads me to the last comment that I have when it comes to training fasted. You need to do what's practical and sustainable for you to do on a consistent basis. Be realistic with yourself. Can you truly train every single morning fasted? And if you can't, it's not a problem. I feel like so many people do it because it sounds cool. You see it in movies all the time. You know, people just wake up, go hit the gym, you know, get it out of their day. It like feels good. It looks good. It's, you know, a cool image to have. Guys, do whatever's sustainable, whatever you can do on a consistent basis because I think that's what's most important, especially when it comes to progression. So do what you can do consistently, what's most realistic for your lifestyle, and I think you're gonna be golden. Anyways, that's pretty much my take on Training Fasted. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Hope you found it informative. Be sure to give the video a like right now before you continue on with this vlog. Hope you all enjoyed this one. Subscribe, and I'll see you in just a second. So I'm currently walking back to my brother's apartment. Had him drop me off to the gym just because he had to use the car to go to one of his classes. He's taking a few summer courses, but it's about a 20 minute walk, not too bad. But check this out guys, the campus here is freaking beautiful, it's huge. I think there's like 30, 35,000 students that go to this uh, college, so really, really big. And actually a few of you who are watching my YouTube channel might be from the school. So if you are, that's freaking awesome. Comment down below. Let me know if you attend Virginia Tech. But yeah, 
pretty nice scenery. Don't mind the walk, 20, 30 minutes. I'm gonna go home, make a post-workout meal because the hunger is definitely starting to kick in. I'm on the top level, you climbing down the stairs. Treat me as a scapegoat makes your life easy. Till the day you look back and see my ass on TV. I can't escape the shit, it's running through my blood. Don't do it, Aziel. Don't do it. Don't show them. I promise I wouldn't show you guys this. I really did, but I have to. Protein pancakes, once again, make a comeback. Couldn't help it, guys. Had to make some protein pancakes, but uh, it's already 4 p.m., guys, and I'm getting pretty damn hungry. Obviously, I've been fasted and haven't had a thing to eat, and it's already four, and my brother just got back. He's the one recording me right now, and he's hitting the gym. He's like, did you do your cardio today? And it kind of just sparked back in my mind and I did not do my damn cardio, and I have to go back to the gym, do some cardio. So I'm gonna do some cardio and abs, and yeah. So going back to the gym, I know that sounds ridiculous, but gotta do what you gotta do. That's what I hate about freaking cutting, guys, is the whole aspect of like training twice, essentially. Doing your cardio, and then weight training as well, especially like towards the end of a cut, the last like two to four weeks. Freaking sucks, but you know what? It is what it is. That's why I recommend splitting up your cardio and training sessions. Wake up. Do your cardio, knock it out, and then do your training later, or whatever suits your, uh, suits your, what's the saying? I, I, I don't even know, but anyways, I'm gonna eat, and got these protein pancakes, got a, some coffee, just for a little bit more of like a pre-workout, because, I don't know, my mind's kind of everywhere today. It's been like a mess, man. It's, tell them, it's, <laughs> it's been a crazy day, hasn't it? Yeah, man. Anyways. You get them. Yep. Gotta do what you gotta do. And also got some more exciting stuff going on later. Gonna meet up with my girlfriend. We're going somewhere. And I'll talk to y'all about something else. Now, I'll it. All right, so I just got back from the gym. I actually just hopped out of the shower, and I didn't get to film anything when I went back to the gym just because my camera died. But I did 30 minutes or so of low intensity steady state cardio, around 400 calories burned. Then I did around 15 minutes or so of abs, so I'm feeling really good. And it's time to get ready. I'm about to go out, eat dinner with my girlfriend, so let's get going. Definitely not looking at your butt. Hold on, hold on. Guys, look at who we just ran into walking to a place to eat. <laughs> You're lying. No. <laughs> she don't want to listen to you. Your girlfriend listening to me. These are the brown boys corny. They love me because I'm the truth. Bitches so easy to please. Stars aligning, yeah. It's perfect timing, yeah. Rolling? Yes. Okay. Go, I'm hungry. Alright guys, so it's currently we third. Oh my god, it's nine. We've been here for an hour. It took us an hour to get served, but we're at a Greek restaurant called The Cellar, and I haven't eaten like all day. Well, you guys saw, had like probably like five, six hundred calories earlier today, and pretty much made room going out with my girlfriend, eating out for dinner, and kind of just showing you guys, even like when you're losing fat and like kind of cutting and stuff, you can still enjoy going out with your girl or friends, whatever it is, <laughs> who you go out with, but you still have like good food. You don't, you don't necessarily have to eat healthy. Like when you go out, Number one thing I hate, I cannot eat healthy when I go out to restaurants. I think it's just a complete waste. So this is what I got. I got a burger. And this gluten-free bun, by the way. This is, what a, what a pathetic, like, <laughs> burger <laughs> bun. This is like a sub-gluten-free bun, but I'm sure it tastes great. I have celiac disease, by the way. No way in hell would I ever voluntarily eat gluten-free. But um, yeah, that's why I got a gluten-free bun. And got a burger, a side of fries, not that much. Probably like a total of like 900 a thousand calories at most but the whole point is I made room for it by like fasting so you can always make room for it and pretty much the rest of the day I'll probably just have like a protein shake or something like that and Ew. I'll still be getting to <laughs> I know so gross number one thing by the way I'm sure like if you have a boyfriend or your girl watching my YouTube channel I think my demographic is like 15-20% females but I know you guys hate it when you, your boyfriends are like losing weight right my girlfriend hates it because I cannot just splurge with her Number one thing we love doing together, eating, making good food. Right. I want her heart by burning a steak. <laughs> but you know what? It's the effort that counts, guys. It's the effort that counts. But anyways, that's what I got, and I'm just starving. I know my girlfriend's hungry. What'd you get, babe? Show the people of YouTube. 
What is that? What do you Buffalo call that? Buffalo chicken Buffalo sandwich. Buffalo chicken sandwich. She's not on the cut. Anyways, we're gonna enjoy this food and thought I would include this in the vlog. All right, so gonna end this video off with this clip. Really, really hope you all enjoyed it. Hope you found it very informative and helpful and overall just entertaining. I love doing these vlogs along with providing value and information throughout the vlogs because I think that's really important, guys, having an entertaining video and as well as something that, you know, providing information that people can learn from and overall just help your life in any sort of way. And I hope that this video showed you how much intermittent fasting just freaking kicks ass and it just makes for so much of more of an enjoyable lifestyle. You guys saw I can eat out with my girlfriend, have burgers, still lose body fat, lose weight, kick ass in the gym, and overall, it's just an awesome lifestyle to live. Go ahead, try it out, guys. Also, try try fasted training. It might be for you, might not be for you. Like I said, I'm gonna be doing this for a week, have a week-long experiment, and I can't wait to get that video out to y'all next week. It's gonna be awesome, and I hope you all enjoy this video, man. Like I said, found it entertaining, helpful, inspiring, motivating, any sort of freaking way. Be sure to give the video a like if you did. Comment down below, let me know what you wanna see next. Subscribe to my channel. We are almost at 10,000 subscribers, guys. That's freaking crazy. We're growing by like 100, 200 subs a day, which is awesome. All thanks to you guys, man, sharing these videos. So keep sharing them, keep liking them, spread the channel to all your friends and family. Appreciate the support. Much love. See you in the next video. Perfect timing, yeah. Watch full of diamonds, yeah. Bling. Char climbing, yeah. For a car driving, yeah. Perfect timing, yeah. Diamond shining, yeah. Stars aligning, yeah. It's perfect timing, yeah. Treat me as a scapegoat makes your life easy. Till the day you look back and see my ass on TV. I can't escape this shit, it's running.